Hey guys, Pavels here from Onion and today we'll be securing the Omega's web server with HTTPS. As you know, the Omega hosts a web server right out of the box. By default, this web server uses regular HTTP, meaning that if you're on the same network as the Omega and have the right skill set, you'll be able to see all of the traffic between the web server and any clients. By adding HTTPS to the Omega's web server, we'll be encrypting all of the traffic between the server and any clients. The best practice if users are entering any sort of sensitive or personal data on the Omega's web page. Follow this guide to learn how to implement it on your Omega. First of all, let's enable Lidi based package repo on your Omega and install the PX5G standalone utility that generates self-signed certificates that is of a X509 type and let you stream OpenSSL utility. Open feeds configuration file and uncomment the base packages, usually it's the second line of that file. Once all the necessary applications are installed, restart the UHTTPD service and Omega will automatically generate RSA key and a self-signed certificate that will enable HTTPS encryption. Navigate to your browser and access your Omega by either typing Omega's hostname or the IP address. You'll be automatically redirected to the secured connection. The warning shows up since you're using your own self-signed certificate. But in our case, this is not an issue since we know our certificate is self-signed. But if you see this on a website on the internet, definitely think twice before proceeding. And there you have it. Going further, this setup works really well in conjunction with the Captive Portal, especially if it's configured to take in usernames, passwords, or other authentication info.